Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at another problem in our array series, which is a maximum difference problem. So first let's talk about the details, like what is the question exactly. So the question exactly is that we have to find the maximum of array j minus array i, where j is always greater than i. Meaning we have to find the maximum difference of two elements, where the first element would be uh, would be at an index greater than the second element. All right. So suppose let's take this example. Here, if you observe, you can see that the maximum difference which will occur here would be 10 minus 2, which is 8. Right. And here the maximum difference which can be is 9 minus 7, which is 2. And here it would be 30 minus 10, which is 20. Okay. So first let's um, talk about the let's talk about life solution first. Right. So here is a life solution. Alright. So what we are doing here is that exactly is uh, we are storing the maximum difference in our variable res. Right, first we have initialized it as um, first element minus second element. It can be negative, that is not an issue. Alright, then what we are going to do is we are using two loops. Alright, so what we are doing here exactly is for this index i we are having j from i plus 1 till n minus 1 and we are like subtracting array j minus array i. So th we will do 3 minus 2, 10 minus 2, 6 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 8 minus 2, 1 minus 2. And what we are going to do is we are going to update our result as maximum of result or array j or minus array i. Alright. For suppose in our first case our result is what? Our result is array 1 minus array 0 which is 1. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are initialized i as 0 which is here and initialized j as i plus 1 which is here. So this would be first of all what? 3 minus greater greatest of 1 and 3 minus 2 so it can it is 1 right. Now j would come at 10. Now the greater would be what? We have to find the greatest of these two which is what? 8. So 8 RS would be updated to 8. So this is how the uh, function would work. After j comes here, the loop will end. Raise it a bit. And right. Yeah. Now what will happen? We'll push i here and we'll run it. We'll run j from i plus 1 till n minus 1. Similarly, we'll do in this thing and this thing. Right. So that's what we have written in this code. Now, calculate the time complexity of this. Since this is our first loop, this is our second loop, and these are nested loop. Our time complexity is going to be big O of n square, right? So we have discussed about a solution which takes big O of n square. Now you may pause the video for two minutes and think of a better solution, the one which we can handle in big O of n time. All right. Now since you may have given a thought about it, let me discuss a little bit how you can solve it. So, in one pass, how are you going to solve it? See, we'll have a variable res which will store our max, uh, which will store our maximum difference. So initially, we'll initialize it at, as array one minus array 0. 
now since we have to do it in one pass we are going to maintain a variable min val mv initially it would be what array zero all right it is going to be array zero okay now what we are going to do is we are going to um, have a loop which will run from i is equal to one till this point. And what we are going to do is exactly what we are going to do is we are going to have maximum of either yes. right or r i minus min val right see when the when will the maximum difference occur when we have the greatest number which will uh, which we can have through this thing in the first loop in the first you know in first iteration in a single loop basically right and we'll have a minimum value which we'll keep in check every time so first we'll do this and then what we are going to do is we are going to update minimum value also minimum value would be minimum of mv or at i this is at i all right so this is uh, what we are going to do here okay now now let's have a try run at this condition r is what one minimum value is what two okay okay um we can have another thing Let's take the example two parts. We will understand it better. Here, um, what is our res? The res first of all is two, cool. And our minimum val is seven. At you know first case. Now we'll run i from one. Which won't affect much now. I will become two. What we are going to do is we are going to subtract five minus seven, which is minus two. So maximum of either two or minus two. Two. So res would still be two, but minimum value now would become five because five is less than you know seven. Now I will come here at six. What we are going to do? We have. We are going to have maximum of either res, which is two, or ai, which is six mi minus minimum value, which is five one. So obviously two is greater, so r would still remain. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, r would still remain two, m would still remain five because mv is what minimum of mv or ri, right? Now we'll come to this thing. Maximum of either res, which is two, or Three minus five, which is minus two. Obviously, two is greater, so we we'll still have raised as two. But our minimum will become three, right? Now we'll come here. We'll again see our would be two, but minimum would become two. Now we'll come out of the loop. Our R is going to be two, and so our is going to be two. All right. So this was the efficient solution, which would take time of theta or big O of n. Okay. Now let's um, code this thing. Okay. Let's first of all add header file. Then. Let's have CD. Let's have a main function. 
where we have print AR as let's see a first example 2 3 10 6 4 8 1 2 3 10 6 4 8 1 all right and let's have m as what is the size of this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Now let's simply see out max this yara comma n. Okay, easy question. So now let's have max this function which will have yara comma size of it. What we are going to do? We are going to have a res variable which will initially have value of as you are uh, 1 minus you are 0 and we will have a minimum value which is going to have value of you are 0 um, right now we will have a loop for my so we are going to have this loop we are going to do two work here first we are going to update res as either max of either res or i minus mv cool and mv would become either min of mv comma rri and in the end what we are going to do we are simply going to return our res alright so this is all uh, we have to do here ok now let's try and run this code so for it wait alright C our output is 8. Now let's try it with another uh, another example which is 795632. Okay. It is 7, 9, 5, 6, 3, 2. Rn would become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. Okay. Now let's um let's it is this thing. Now let's try. Okay. Output is 2, which is our desired output. And let's do the third example also. Just to verify it, then smooth. Let it 10, 20, 30. Right? Output would, should be 20. Output is 20. Right? So, yes, this was all for this video in the maximum distance problem where we discussed two approaches for the for the same question one was taking big o, big o of n square another was taking big o of n all right so um i guess you understood like how you can solve this question all right and yeah that's it for this video and see you later thank you